Hey, this is Jeff Batt with Kinetic Media, and welcome to part 5 of the jQuery Mobile Dreamweaver Basics. And in this one, we're going to be talking about using images within List. Last time in our previous video, we talked about um, simplistic versus complex lists. And so by default, you have a simplistic list, which basically just has text and then an arrow to go to whatever page that it may go or that you may have a link to. And then we also talked about making more complex lists where it has list views, uh, descriptions, bubbles, different things like that. One thing we didn't get into was the images using thumbnails or using icons within the list views. So that's what I want to take a, you know, a couple minutes here to talk about how to use these thumbnails or how to use these icons within your list views to give it even that much of a better look and everything. So we're going to first of all talk about thumbnails. So, as you can see on the left hand side, we have a list view with a bunch of different thumbnails that kind of give a visual look of what the, uh, the different subject of these list views are going to be. And if you want to do that, um, then you use the thumbnails within these in these lists. Now you have to prepare the images um, to the sizes for the thumbnails before you bring them in. But once you have them brought in, then you can use them within your list here. Now it's really simple to use these types of thumbnails to use um, these images within your different uh, list views. And we already know how to create a list and even a description within the list. So you can see here, we have um, an LI, a list view, or a list item, and the href is basically going to be where we link to a page. And then within there, we have an H3 tag, and that H3 tag um, talks about, it's just the title, basically. And then we have the paragraph tag, which is the description of the title. Now, in order to create a thumbnail in this list view, the only thing we need to add is actually an image reference. Now, the image reference has the source location where these image is going to be stored uh, but then it also has a class now this is the key this is will this is what's going to position it correctly inside of uh, jQuery mobile here so what you need to add and Dreamweaver doesn't do this automatically for you but what you need to add is a class UI dot li dot has I'm sorry not dots so UI dash li dash has dash thumb and this will tell Dreamweaver and jQuery mobile that this image that you're linking to inside of this list view is going to be on the left hand side and it's going to be used as a thumbnail for this list item. Now you need to add this tag in pretty much every single list item. So every t every time you have a list item that you want there to be a thumbnail, you need to add this image tag. So let's go ahead into Dreamweaver and let's take a look at how to get this started. So Inside of Dreamweaver, I don't have a project selected yet, so I'm going to go ahead and select more. Uh, come down to my page from sample, just like we learned in the first video. Go down to Mobile Starters, and then click on jQuery Mobile Local, and then go ahead and click on Create. <clears throat> now this will start a sample uh, project for me, like we uh, took a look at in previous ones. If I want to click on the split view to see uh, some of the content here, I can. But I need to save this into a location so I have all the files that I need so I can place my image in that file as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control S or Command S on a Mac. And then I'm going to go to my desktop. And then on my desktop, I'm going to create a new folder. And we're just going to call this Sample App and hit Create. Now, just like all of my other jQuery mobile items, I'm going to go ahead and just name this first file index.html. And this will copy all the necessary jQuery uh, mobile JS files and CSS files. So I'm going to go ahead and hit copy. And you'll notice as soon as that's done, it's now updated all the links to the CSS, to the JavaScript, and everything like that. <clears throat> so I have everything ready to go. Now, if I was to come over to um, my Finder here, or just your desktop, and if I was to go into my jQuery mobile file and just double click on the index file, You'll notice that this just gives me the sample file that we had worked with before. It doesn't have a, a description. Now, if you want to have a description, you want to have a thumbnail, we need to make that into a description list. And so we learned how to do that last time, but let's go ahead and review. And I'm going to adjust my screen here so we can see this look a little bit better. Um, and I'm going to come back into Dreamweaver. <clears throat> now, within Dreamweaver, I'm going to delete my list views. So here's my list view from this UL item, unordered list item 
to the end of the unordered list. I'm just going to select that and then go ahead and hit delete. Now from my jQuery mobile up in Dreamweaver, my menu, um, if you don't see that it's in a previous video, we show you how to see that. And I'm going to come over here and go to the jQuery mobile list. <clears throat> now I make sure that I have my mouse selected where I want this. And I want this inside of page one inside of the content area. And so in this case, I'm going to select an unordered list and I'm going to go ahead and add a text description. Now I'm going to just keep it at three items for now. Um, and I can also add text bubbles, text asides, you know, whatever I wanted to there. But I'm just going to select OK here. Now here is the makings of a list item. So we have this list view. We have the first list item. And then here's our end of the list item. And we have an H3 and we have a paragraph. Now all I need to do here is I need to reference that image uh, that we had talked about. But first of all, I need to place that image in the same location. So I'm going to go back to my finder or back to your desktop. I'm going to take this thumbnail that I have on my desktop, uh, just a simple thumbnail, and I'm going to go ahead and place that inside of my same location as the app. Now you'll notice this thumbnail is 115 by 115. It can really be whatever size you want, but that's the recommended size from jQuery to uh, keep your thumbnails around that size. And so I'm going to take that thumbnail, I'm going to go ahead and place it inside of the sample app, and there's already an images folder, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy it into that images folder. So this thumbnail is named page.png. So let's go back into Dreamweaver, and I'm going to add an image reference. I'm going to locate the source, just go ahead and browse for it, and that source is within my images folder and there's my page.png file. I'm going to go ahead and click open. And so now I have pointed to that, um, that image file. If I was just to go ahead and close that, that would be fine, but we wouldn't get the desired results. We need to add that class so the CSS knows how to format this image. So I'm going to go ahead and hit class. And now we're going to say UI dash, you can see some hints will pop up, LI, because we're working with the list, so we're working with the UI. Now we're working with the list item, and then dash, um, and then has, and you can see I can just come down to the bottom here, has thumb. And that will uh, select that there. If I go ahead and uh, preview it now, you can see we have our thumbnail right inside of the list item. It made the list item here slightly a little bit bigger and it positioned it in the correct location. I didn't have to worry about positioning or anything like that. Now all I have to do is basically just copy this and paste it into other list items. So if I wanted to have the same image or <clears throat> if I have other images I can change the path to the image uh, of whatever I wanted. But here you can see that I can start building out my images there. Now I don't necessarily like the images like that. So what I may want to do is I may want to add a shadow. jQuery mobile has a nice shadow feature that if I come into, uh, let's go back into this keynote here and let's talk about shadows here. Um, you can add shadows on images. And so any image that you have or any object you have, you can add a simple shadow automatically that uh, just gets added to the image. So you can see over on the left hand side, we have an image and we have a slight shadow to it. Um, and so the way that you do this is actually within the image tag file. So you'll notice very at the very end, we still have the UI-LI-Has-Thumb, but then there's a space and there's another class. Now this class is UI-Shadow. Now I can, again, add this to any image I want, um, but if you add that to uh, pretty much any image or you've added to this type of image, then it will add a shadow. So I'm going to go UI dash, start typing in shadow. And then we also have a shadow inset. We'll actually be like, uh, you know, the shadow is on the image itself, making it look like it's uh, behind everything else. So if I do that, come back here and preview it, you'll notice that we get a nice, uh, nice little shadow around the image as well. So that is how you add a thumbnail, but there's also another kind of image that you can add within jQuery mobile, and that is an icon. Now it's a slightly a little bit different. You'll notice the icon doesn't take up the full space um, of the actual uh, list view, 
but it does center it into the uh, center it in the middle and it also uh, centers it and there adds a little bit padding on the left hand side as well now the recommended size for these icons is 16 by 16 now these icons can be used with any list item and you it's very similar to the thumbnail where you still within the list item you still add an image tag but instead of uh, the UI-LI-HAS-Thumbnail, you actually do a UI-LI-HAS-Icon. And that will um, make sure that it adds the necessary padding and centers it in the middle of the list as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to switch back over to uh, Dreamweaver. And on the last item, I'm actually going to add a different tag. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure that my icon, which is right here, um, is placed within my images folder. So I'm going to go ahead into my sample app folder, go into images, and then just paste that inside of there. Now it's just de.png is what I need to reference to. So I'm going to come back in here, start typing in IMG source, and let's go ahead and browse for the source. There it is right there. I'll go ahead and hit open. And now I just need to add my class. So class equals UI dash LI dash has and I can just uh, scroll down here to icon so this will just let it know that this is an icon and now if I come back into uh, my file here you'll notice that it adds the icon here now because icons are typically used for just a regular file um, instead of an li file with like a or a li image with a description um, you may just want to use it inside of a different one so let's go back to Let's go ahead and get rid of this list item. And uh, let's add just a regular list item. So no, none of the text description, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. All right, to actually add this, I need to actually be within the, um, the href. So I'm gonna come into this list item and I'm gonna go ahead and add IMG. And uh, let's go ahead and establish the source here. So I'm going to go to de.png and now I'm going to add a class. Now the class is actually changed from what's updated here in the, the latest version of Dreamweaver. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and just say UI-LI-Icon. Uh, I'm gonna close out that uh, tag here. And now if I come back into here, you can see that the icon has been added it has a little padding on the right hand side, has a little padding on the left hand side, and it has centered it in the middle of the uh, table of con or inside of the uh, list item here. And so you can go ahead and start copying and pasting this image dot source or image source files uh, over to other ones to add more icons as well. So that's how you uh, add thumbnails into your list views as well as icons into your list views.